All right, so let's, uh, in the previous example, we, uh, we cut the volume in half, right? Um, now we're going to cut the pressure in half. Okay, and a constant, in a constant temperature process, to cut the pressure in half, you would have to double the volume, right? Um, so, so, you know, here we have tor, and we've got inches, right? Again, the, um, the, height of the, the height of the piston in the cylinder is the proxy for our volume, right? It's eight inches. So here's our piston, now it's eight inches from the bottom, and then we're going to, um, oh, we're gonna move the piston out. <laughs> okay, okay, we're gonna move this thing out to some height like this, okay, to cut the pressure in half, okay? Um, okay, so let's see, 760 torr. And then we're going to use, we're going to say that this is my eight inches of, of uh, cylinder length is my volume. Okay, I'm going to put that in there. And really it's eight inches times the area of that um, thing there. And if we did it in square inches, that would be cubic inches. Okay. Okay, and then that equals uh, 380 times however many inches of cylinder that we have here. So we'll just call it X. Okay, so now we're going to figure out how high the piston needs to be. Um, it's going to be higher, but it won't be, uh, what, twice as high. It'll be a bit less. Okay, so let's go 760 times 8 raised to the parentheses 5 divided by 3. 5 divided by 380. And I get 64 is x to the 5 thirds, right? Now to get the get what x is, I'm going to raise both sides to the 3 fifths. Okay, and that's going to be x to the 5 times 3 over 3 times 5, which is going to be x. <laughs> okay, so 64 raised to the 3 divided by 5, 12.1257. Okay, now let's think about this, right? If this had been an isothermal process, that is that the, the moles didn't change and the temperature didn't change, then PV would have equaled PV, right? So to cut the pressure in half, you would simply double the volume. Double the volume, cut the pressure in half. Right, that makes sense, okay? In this case, we didn't have to, doubling the, the, the volume would have been moving it out from eight inches to 16 inches. We did not have to move it that far, and that's because the temperature dropped. Okay, so we were at twelve point one inches out. Okay, we actually reached half the pressure without going all the way to sixteen because the temperature is dropping as that piston moves away from the gas. The particles bouncing off that piston come off going slower. Uh, it's a bit like a soccer player trapping a ball, right? You move your foot in the direction the ball's going. And that decreases the kinetic energy of the ball, and you can control the ball. You can, I, I can't. I'm incapable of trapping a ball. But anyway, um, there we go.